Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Glad to have you aboard this morning, this afternoon, whenever you get a chance to tune in. As the Edmonton Oilers go into Vancouver tonight, looking for a win because they desperately need one. It's been a rough little stretch here over the past few games for the Edmonton Oilers. And quite honestly, the Oilers are putting themselves, similar to last year, not quite the same extreme, but the same idea, behind in the race sooner rather than later. And that's where, yeah, last year we made up a lot of runway in November and it took till November 24th to start turning that tide. But again, unless Amazon is scripting NHL seasons nowadays, I'm sorry, the Oilers have zero excuse for this. And we're gonna discuss that here in a little bit. We've already done this a few times this year, but I'm tired of hearing the excuses from the fans, from the coaching staff, and from the players from this perspective. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I have been saying for a little while here, closing in on 17,000 subscribers, but maybe I need to post a video, you know, once in a while to get there. So fair enough. Um, what I'm saying is obviously the old and slow mantra continues to be a big thing for Oilers fans and Oilers detractors. I'll tell you what, I'm sorry, Connor McDavid did not age 10 years this off season nor did Dreisaitl, nor did a guy like Evan Bouchard, Stuart Skinner. We still have young guys that can move their boots, that can make plays. And you know what? The older guys, they just need to adapt their game and put in more effort, right? I think it's day by day, fans are starting to see what I was saying three games into the season, and it is just a lack of good, consistent effort game in, game out from the Edmonton Oilers. And that was what irked me from the start of this season is the fact that they refuse to put in a good effort game in, game out to try and win a hockey game, right? It, it took there for a while before that Flames game, every game you had to fight to win a hockey game. Well, you know what? That's actually putting in some effort when you fight in a game. So, right? Rightfully so. Then all of a sudden they won. Well, uh, I'm sorry, right? Now we've seen a few games here where the Oilers again just show up, don't take it seriously, don't put in their best, and they lose a hockey game. Well, yeah, that's going to happen in the NHL. That's quite honestly the way it actually works. And it's tough to see because everyone for all this season, oh, they're old and slow. I'm sorry, that's not the excuse for putting in, putting in a poor effort, right? That, that, that Those two do not equate each other. And that's where I am truly frustrated at this point. And then you got... The coach, you know, okay, that didn't work this game. We'll change lines for next game. I don't think we've stuck with the same lines for more than two and a half games this season. And for a group that was supposed to have Nuge, McDavid, Hyman, Skinner, Arvidsson, and Drysaddle, and then you got Yanmark, Henrique, and Brown on the third line. Fourth line, always I'm okay with being whatever. But we have not stuck to those combinations like I said, for maybe even more than a maximum of 60 minutes this year. And it's been frustrating to see, and the defense don't even get me started there. But from the coaching perspective, when I did that video earlier this season saying that Chris Knobloch could quite honestly be in big trouble, I think everybody's starting to see exactly what I was talking about back then, is the fact that the guy is falling victim to the same thing every other Oilers coach did. It didn't work for 10 minutes. I better change it. I better change it. And at, at what point, I guess, is it the coach's fault that the lineups don't work? But again, every year there's new players. So you're going to just say they come to Edmonton and the new players get some kind of, I don't know, some mental state where they just can't function with the same line mates for more than 60 minutes? I, I'm not going to believe that. I, I mean, I know winters are hard, but... Let me tell you, it's supposed to be 14 degrees here in Alberta today, so I'm sorry, it's not that hard in November yet. And, right, I mean, what then what excuse does Chris Knobloch have to not stick with the same lineup? You don't get the result. You know what? In the grand scheme of things, look at last year. We lost a ton of games to start the year, and it didn't matter. At the end of the day, we were a goal and a half shy of the Stanley Cup being hoisted over Connor McDavid's head. So... The fact that, you know, you're t maybe too scared as a head coach or as the coaching staff or as an organization to lose another game because the lineup stayed the same, that's beyond ludicrous. So it's it's very much so. I, I, don't, I don't know which way to turn with this, 
but I'm, I'm still seeing the exact same things I saw three games into the season and people refuse to go out there and call out what it is. I know Oilers Nation has done a good job kind of talking about what I'm talking about today here a little bit over the past day or two, but it's, it's taken to this point for people to wake up and smell the coffee that quite honestly, there is an effort problem. There is a give a damn problem in Edmonton. And there's a coaching issue where you can't leave well enough alone to see if it sorts itself out. So, hey, you know what? You don't like that. That's fair enough. But that's that's where I'm at right now. And uh, friends, I'm going to leave you right now as we'll go get ahead for Vancouver tonight. Which again, trust me, oh boy, the headlines if Vancouver smacks us around are going to be absolutely hilarious as you know it was last year in hindsight 2020 by the time we defeated the Canucks in game seven of the second round so we'll stay tuned friends thanks for being aboard here today I am up on out of here